Hi everybody, happy Wednesday. It is Jeff and Nikki from Nightshade Nook Decor and we are getting ready to flood coat some items. We are flood coating our custom order beach wave table and one of our beach wave wall arts. And Apparently a couple coasters. <laughs> and a coaster, well two coasters. One's because, you know, I did a thing. I put my nails in there, not paying attention. So that gets to get <laughs> flood coated. And you missed the look that he gave me when I said that. Things happen. Remember, we own that we mess up. I own that. I'm like, hey, you gotta do that one too, because I just stuck my fingernails in it for no apparent reason. So this should be actually a pretty short video because we're just doing flood coats. So this is the custom order beach wave table that we had gotten the order from um, the Barry's Old School Irish Festival. And the wall art, <laughs> we had, what, do you need me to, you need me to pour there? This is the one, this is the culprit. You can see the little nail marks. <laughs> so this is the final pour on this table and then this table will be done and he will put the legs on it and we'll contact the client and then I believe Jeff is delivering this table because yeah. it is local so that will be exciting and we will not be doing the live when we deliver it because you know people's privacy but we will take some really nice pictures of it once it's all done and the legs are on it so you guys can see how it turned out. And personally, I think it looks pretty nice. You happy with your beach wave table? Yeah, it came out good. That's really all that matters. If he's happy with it, I'm fairly confident the customer will be happy with it. Because he's fussy, <laughs> as you all know. <sighs> yeah, I got no babbles. No babbles today, huh? No babbles. I'm a little tired. But I'm excited that Wednesday is almost over. And this weekend I've got a lot of carving to do. In fact, I've got to carve those, uh, those beer flights, don't I? Yeah. I just noticed that when I went in to get my phone. I was like, oh, I've got beer flights to carve. And I quickly contemplated carving them tonight, and if I remember, it, they're a little bit of work, aren't they? Yeah, well, the first time it took you a while, but you were doing the setup, you know what I mean? Right, where I already have, well, I mostly have it set up. That's what I'm saying. I so mean, I still have to measure and see if it's the same length and everything and width. So it's still a little set up, but yeah, I've got the circles already drawn out for the cups. So it's just formatting the size. So in theory, it should be quicker. Yeah, in theory. So he's just going around all the edges, making sure every portion of this table is covered with epoxy. And this is one of our smaller tables. Um, the customer actually has a beach house and our, was it a 24 inch table? Yeah. Was a little too big for her space. So she contacted us and asked us if we could make a smaller 18 inch table. So that's what this is. So in case you're going, that's a really small table. That's it right. is. They ordered a small table. They ordered a small table. That's what happens. You can order a small table too if you want. <laughs> you order a That's small how table, we roll. You've got a small table. <laughs> and so, as you know, we do take custom orders for any of our products. Jeff's motto is if you can dream it, we can build it. I can't wait till someone takes you up on that and comes up with something really bizarre for you to make. Mm -hmm. I think it's already happened. What's it already happened? Sure, we, I never thought I'd be making jewelry boxes. Yeah, but I don't feel like that was that big of a challenge. Mm -hmm. I mean, you thought it was when you first started, but then you're like, oh, I got this. Now, I want to see somebody order something funky. I don't know what. If I knew what, I would have already said, hey, why don't you make this? Not that you're always down with me in my, hey, why don't you make this? No. Sometimes it takes someone else to be like, I would really like to order a blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, oh. you mentioned that during a live, didn't you? <laughs> <sighs> 
Oh, so like I said, fairly short and simple video tonight. So once he's done um, ensuring that he has su sufficient coverage on these, then he'll just go over it with a torch. What he's doing now is relieving the sur surface tension on the wall art. I was trying to think of the name of the product, not epoxy I had. You had that? I had yeah, that. Oh, so now I'm in his way, but I'm not really budging. Clancy lives to be in the way. So these are coasters that he did today, I believe, while we were not present. The one that he's doing right now, this set in the center, was the My Spring Imperial Emerald, which apparently from the other side of the table, they look green. From this side of the table, they look blue. So I have to travel over to the other side of the table at some point. And then these are the Spalted Maple Sapphire Blue Coasters, which I love the way that blue just kind of offsets the, the pale wood of the Spalted Maple. They look very, very cool. And then once he is done, I will pop you over and we can take a peek at the Mermaid Dust Coasters, which those are very, very cool. I like exterior river pours. We've done that on some cutting boards. I think one of the, the stove tupper we did was an exterior pour, wasn't it? Um, maybe. I feel like it was. I don't remember. Yeah, I'd have so. to look at the pictures again. So that's another thing that I have not put on our website is we do make stove toppers. Some people call them noodle boards. I really don't comprehend the name behind the noodle boards. Well, they make noodles on it. I don't know that there's that many people out there in the world making noodles nowadays. I think there's a bunch of noodle makers. Out you here. think? Yeah. I think that needs a little bit more up here. It just looked uneven. I mean, I know it's self-leveling epoxy. So now he is all epoxied and he's got to torch out the air bubbles and then we're done with that. So you've got 20 minutes of us babbling at you <laughs> or we could let you guys go. Oh, it was just the way the light was hitting it that it was looking kind of dimply. That's really what it was. So as you guys know, not this weekend, but the following weekend, the 25th and 26th, we will be at the Zarpentines, or the 26th and 27th. Uh, I don't know. I think it's 25th and 26th. I think the 24th is a Friday. Okay. So 25th and 26th, we will be out at Hilton at the Zarpentine Fall Festival, which is a kind of a replacement for the Hilton Apple Festival, since they aren't having the Hilton Apple Festival this year nor did they have it last year so i would definitely encourage you guys checking that out i did create an event page for that because zarpentine did not so i shared that it is on our facebook page <laughs> um, it does have the address and everything there and the times for the fall festival so you can just click on that and get the directions um, but it seems like it's going to be a great time there's going to be a lot of vendors there there's going to be food trucks there Pumpkin picking, apple cider, Zarpentine 15, which is their, actually I think they call it Zarp 15, which is their dozen fry cakes, which isn't a dozen, it's 15. They consider 15 to be a dozen. Nice. Yeah. And they have some apple fritters, which we got last time we were out there, which were freaking amazing. Yeah. Those apple fritters are really, really good. Not like your typical apple fritters like you'd think from Wegmans or the grocery store. They're like little apple nuggets that actually have little pieces of apple in them. Yeah, they were really good. They were really good. Um, so I would say definitely check those guys out and come see us at the festival. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have anything else you want to add? No, I'm good. You're good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. So I guess we're going to let you guys go. It's a short Wednesday night. You guys have a great night. Don't forget to like and share our videos. And thank you for watching.